Hey, you guys. I know. I'm sorry it's late, but of course, I'm sick. Been sick. And um, this one took a long time, but I tried to include almost all napkins from other people in this one. Okay, y'all. I've had this done for a minute, and I took two of those Christmas signs from last year, and I glued them together there with uh, Jumbo Craft Sticks, and I painted it uh, white. And so I did give it a touch up because it's been a minute. And on my mat here, I'm taking a measuring every five minutes. Nope. <laughs> it's already started. <laughs> every five inches. Anyway, um, yeah, and that's as far as it goes because that one's a little less than five inches. So um, then I'm going to take my knife here and I just uh, drag it across three times, not heavy handed either. Because when I do shiplap, I do like to um, cut it out with my knife because I like for it to look realistic. And after I do that, I take that little tiny flathead screwdriver, y'all see? But, and then I do that, just scrape it down that hole to make it wider. But um, you can use your embossing tool from the Dollar Tree and do that also. And right here, I'm taking um, black chalk paint. Um, it's folk art rich black anyway and i'm putting it in my cracks yeah to darken them up and then like when i get some on that wet wipe i like rub it on my board there see different different spots but wipe it off if i get it too much somewhere but um yeah just do that and then oh come on now um oh then i'm going to take uh antique wax waverly antique wax and y'all, these are just condiment bottles from uh, the Dollar Tree that I put my paint and stuff in. And it stays good because every time I undo the lid, it starts drying out. All my paint starts drying out. So, Tammy from Rusty Willow has really expensive ones, but I am paying that much for them. So, I just got those cheap ones from the Dollar Tree and started putting my paint when I had, like, big bottles or, or multitudes of them. And that antique wax Miss Jackie Corn sent me. And then I'm going to take my fabric, Beacon Fabric Tack glue, and I'm going to glue those sticks down that Miss Rose sent me. Yeah, we're going to do that this video. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to glue me a frame all the way around it. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all didn't want to see all that, so let me... And I did put clips on it. That's that's it. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to leave this much in, but just ignore it, and I'd appreciate it so, so very much. So hopefully we're going to move on now. Okay, I take this fabric from the Dollar Tree. Now, y'all, I've had this for a couple years, and um it looks really dingy here but it's not i don't know what's wrong with it um but anyway i take i cut a piece down and um i did fold back that one corner to try to make it neater but then i couldn't figure out the other side without getting it crooked and i didn't want to fool with it so i just oh my goodness excuse me i am so rude sometimes and i don't mean to be but i cover the entire back there with um that fabric yeah and then I just take my um my uh, knife there and cut off that excess fabric. Okay, I know that's adorable the way it is, but when I found these, I was so excited, y'all. It's a little milk can. Oh, my goodness. I was so in love. And I was like, oh, I should have bought a lot of them, but I didn't. But anyway, so, of course, I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to take those little metal pieces off the side and i paint it in um silver lining chalk paint by waverly and um then i take a couple pieces of masking tape and i'll flip it over and i put it like where that hole is i just start doing it like this it's easier y'all and you don't end up having such a big dent and then i take some uh lightweight spackle and i fill the hole and then um yeah I didn't sand it down or nothing because I figured the rest of this is going to cover it. So I take uh, that folk art ink chalk paint by folk art. <laughs> and I put little black splotches and then I'm going to take white, um, the Waverly Snow White. And then I'm going to take Elephant, it's Waverly too. And I take little sponges and I just dab, dab, dab. I know it looks like crazy right now, but... And then I take that metallic uh, silver uh, by folk or acrylic paint um, and then a little bit more silver lining. And, y'all, that's just 
how I do my galvanize. I mean, I know people do it differently and probably easy, but that's just the way I do it. Okay, and now I'm going to take some tumbling tower blocks, and I'm going to um, put wood glue and hot glue all the way down the edge of that sign, and I'm going to take silver lining, and I'm going to paint the just the edge area where you can see it. I didn't paint the backs of them and stuff except, you know. And then I decided, yeah, that looks like ears. I can't handle it. So I cut off the little uh, handles that they had, and then I paint my sign there with that silver lining colored up. Okay, y'all, here's where we start getting crazy. You're going to need a couple packs of these. If not, I use three. But anyway, so. And I'm going to take um, little skinny sticks that I got from Walmart. But I did buy a bunch of uh, coffee stir sticks. That's right there, y'all. And um, I'm going to mark them a fourth of an inch above and below that little wood plank square thing. And then I'm going to take and measure them up with you know a couple more because i'm gonna wood glue three of them together because i need the height and um yeah so i end up doing that three times so three times yeah because y'all see and then um i'm gonna wood glue them together and then i'm gonna take those sticks uh flat bamboo sticks from thunks <laughs> I don't know why. And I'm going to cut it at a 45-degree angle. And I'm going to glue them because they're a bit wider on top of those ones. And I do the frame all the way around, even where that open spot is. We still do that 45-degree angle and, and glue them on top all the way around. That's why we left that fourth inch on top also. And um, I'm going to paint them all in white chalk paint. And then I sand them all down a little bit because they are a little bit rough, some of them. Now, here I'm going to take and put Mod Podge on every one of them. And then um, we're going to set all those aside to dry. And then I'm going to take that leather from Rose. Rose actually sent that too. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Anyway, and um, I'm going to uh, cut one fourth inch strips on my paper trimmer there. Yeah, and then I'm going to cut uh, two one-inch. I do cut another one, but, um, yeah, because that's why. And then, no, that's too thin. And then I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get the right length down, I reckon, y'all. And I'm going to take and that fabric tack glue, and I'm going to glue. This This editing's all terrible, y'all. I just, I just want to be asleep right now, but anyway... <laughs> I'm going to glue the two, y'all see, I'm gluing two of them together, back to back, so you can't see the, the back. Blah, 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 blah. And, um, yeah, and then I just run my fingers over them, squishing the glue out, but also give a little bit of curve to it. I had a little um, monkey piece showing there. And uh, I'm going to take that beacon fabric tack glue, and I'm going to, I think this looks better than those little ear things, even if I was just going to use it as, you know, uh, a regular sign. I do think I would have cut those off and replaced them anyway, so, you know. And um, I'm just trying to get them about the same spot there, and then we're going to turn around and hot glue them to the back, which I'm soon, Okay. And then we're, I'm trying to see, there's my frame that we just built. And I'm going to take those one-fourth inch strips and I'm going to glue one at the top and um, with that beacon fabric tack glue. And we're going to glue um, the other one at the bottom. Yeah. I kind of wish that I would have, um, I think, came up higher, higher with the bottom one. Um, Y'all see here in a minute. I guess just watch it, because I'm just doing all kind of craziness. <clears throat> I didn't mean to leave that in, y'all. I know y'all know how to glue stuff on, but... You know, I get some new pe people that they're like, why didn't you show? Because I don't know, you know, and then I feel bad. But anyway, and there I'm taking that beacon fabric tack glue, and we're gluing our little frame on there and trying to get it as even as possible, and I'm just going to clamp it down. Then we're going to take, I cut a, um, 
okay, fourth inch and eighth an inch strip and put it at the top of our, no, it was a half an inch and that one was a fourth an inch. Anyway, I take these push pins. They were so pretty and they're big and thick and high ones. And I thought I painted them with steel by Waverly and I went over them with, um, brush metal by folk art and um then they end up being so thick i couldn't we couldn't utilize our frame so i had to just use regular thumbtacks but i end up painting them the same way and then i seal them with that clear coat spray there okay y'all here we got a bunch of napkins from a lot of you folks and um yes so that's what we're gonna do um I'm going to take that one. That one's from Miss Pat Boyer. She said it reminded her of Jessie J because Jessie's so rotten. But I'm going to take masking tape, and it's two-ply, and I'm going to remove both plies off the back. And remember, we've already Mod Podged them and let them dry, and I'm going to line it up there the best I can. I'm going to put down a piece of parchment paper I got from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to take our little iron, and we're going to iron it. There we go, because it reactivates that um, Mod Podge and makes your napkin stick and you usually don't get wrinkles. And that napkin there came from Miss Diane Cassidy and we're gonna use it. And then this one up here, the pumpkin one was, um, I think it was Pat Boyer also. Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, so I'd have to think about it, y'all. And here I'm just taking, uh, uh, what that stuff called? Paper, uh, craft paper, uh, sheet book, scrapbook and paper, G is Different pieces of scrapbook and paper and adding it to my little planks. Now, that one came from Miss Shirley Gutierrez. Gutierrez, Shirley, I always mess up your name. And I'm just going to take my sander there and get the excess napkin off. And here, that, um, my, um, knife there, Miss Christine Carter sent that to me. And then that finger sander there, Miss Jackie Carn sent to me. And there you go. See? Okay. And then, uh, yeah, that was from Pat Boyer, y'all, that napkin. And then um, after they dry completely, I'm going to cover them. And that's from Miss Deborah Broussard, Broussard, that napkin there. I'm going to cover them with Mod Podge. And here I'm just putting my push pins in you see there but like i said i do change them later to thumbtacks because they were so thick i couldn't get y'all see i think y'all get the get the drift here but anyway and then i'm going to take anti oh i did i ended up painting that uh frame wax on wax off y'all know and then i'm going to like distress it with that waverly antique wax and make it look a little bit rusty i was going to do um the cinnamon but y'all i was seriously running out of time this video is so long and it's just the one diy because there were so many bits and bobs and pieces put in it so i'm sorry but i i am working on another i actually started other stuff i just ran out of time so anyway here i'm doing the frame and um yeah i'm trying to yeah get some stuff together for all y'all that have just been so generous to me so that's why I'm still waiting on some emails and um, for some addresses and stuff, y'all. So, please send me if you've ever sent me a gift or anything like that. And that money that uh, I'll call y'all the um, ugly truth uh, gals because <laughs> it was from that live. So, anyway, I love y'all. I'm taking this fabric here from the Dollar Tree. And um, what I'm going to do is cut it in, like, two inches no it was it two inches no inch and a half strips there and then i just make a little slit and then i just rip it off um like a band-aid and i'm gonna take um this um that tim holtz uh uh distressing ink from rose rose <laughs> uh, rose sent me two stores worth of stuff so it's bound to be a lot in here y'all's sorry anyway and i'm gonna like distress my my fabric there y'all that looks good when it's done and i'm and i i cut this one but i don't distress it it's the little farmhouse one with the little pigs and cows and all that stuff on it then i just tie a bow 
And see, what I do is I attach the bows to that fabric. Okay, never mind. Okay, here, um, that napkin came from, mm, I, I think that one was Diane Cassidy. I usually remember, look, I stuck out to one of those um, things you hang on the wall. You put them sticky things on and hang pictures from. I don't have the thing, so it worked. And I put um, winter blessings, I think that's what that said, a little stamp. And then I was going to try to use that uh, thing, but the words were too big. So I just used what it said, and I just took my stamps, and I did the um, our story or something, our love. And that one's for February. The one was for January, the little snowman. And I now put established there, and I write 1996 for me and my hobby. And then I cut the welcome out of this one. This one's for March and, I think, or April. I don't even know. And I put the little welcome word down on that napkin. And that was from Pat Boyer. Am I right? I keep feeling like I'm messing up something here, y'all. Okay. And then, I know it's a silly, but I wanted it. That little USA word in the middle of those window clings. See, you can use window clings for it, too. Napkins, uh, scrapbook and paper, uh, all those rubble and transfers and stickers from the Dollar Tree. You can just go ham up on this, and that's exactly what I did. Use anything you want to to stick it on there, but nothing like thick. And then I take this stencil from uh, Essential Stencils. Y'all need to check them out. Um, pretty soon, I'm going to be having a um, discount code for y'all. And we're going to be doing a giveaway. So, yay! Anyway, and I'm uh, just taking that vintage mustard and, and stencil that HME on there. Yeah. So... You guys be on the lookout for that. That's coming up, and I, that's going to be exciting. I'm really excited about it. Mm. And then I'm going to take one of the sunflowers that they sent me, Essential Stencils, and there's the QR code and the barcode, you guys, um, if you want to check it out. And I'm going to, um, yeah, use that as my little O for my home. And just going to rub that on there. And you guys, these almost stick as soon as you lay them down. But you still want to, you know. And I'm just burnishing it on there. And then, oh, this lamb one. Deborah Broussard sent me this one. I love it. But I got those stickers. I've had them about 20 years, y'all, from the Hobby Lobby. But that is um, John 316 right there on that lamb. And I love that. That's my Easter one. Okay, so you can either like tie it on like this. And then like hide it back there. But I did start, um, I just tied the bows onto the fabric, and then you go up behind there, and you tie them on. See, I'll tie those together with that same kind of fabric, and then um, tie it in the back there. And there, put some flowers in there. And, y'all, I think this is adorable, and this is going to be my calendar, and it's going to make me think of each and every one of y'all whenever, um... I look at it, but I'm going to take little tiny pieces of jute twine and glue them down there and put a piece of masking tape on it. That way, you can pull it up and down out of there without having to, um, you know, tip it upside down. But um, anyway, here's just, um, I take that one. Um, that napkin, that's one of my new ones Miss Valerie uh, Allison sent me. And I wanted to use that little truck, Valerie, but I didn't want it. It was going to cut it off. I didn't want that. So I used this beautiful hummingbird and that peony. And I'm going to put some eucalyptus and peonies in there. See, you could just do all these different things. But what we're going to do right now is I originally was going to tie bow. But I cut my ribbon too short. So um, I ended up attaching the ribbon, a bow to the ribbon. That's what got me started doing that. Yeah. Or you could just cut it long enough and tie it around like that. And I love those beautiful eucalyptus leaves from the Dollar Tree this year, y'all. Y'all know I love me some eucalyptus anyway. So, <coughs> oh, goodness, y'all. I'm just making me a bow here. Now, that beautiful ribbon, it came from the Dollar Tree this year, too. And we're going to attach it. There we go. See, with some raffia. And, um, yeah. Okay, and I don't know what happened, y'all. Anyway, um, 
Oh, there. Yeah, I'm just taking a piece of raffia and wrapping around and tying that all together. And here it is, y'all. And look, that little truck. Oh, my goodness. And that one is for November. Ain't that pretty? I think so. And I hope y'all like it. I mean, I was afraid you wouldn't. And, and this one's for... Oh, it could be November also. I just wanted y'all to show you. Put different flowers. You put your different calendar piece down in there. And, you know, and you'll know each month. And then look at this one. I think it's so cute for spring. Oh, look at it. Look at it. I hope y'all like it. Please don't hate it. Brenda said you'd like it from Rustic and Lace. If not, she's a liar. And look, I filled that one full of beautiful eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus. And I think that's pretty. And that was that rubble and transfer from um, the Dollar Tree. It says Farm Fresh Flowers. And then there is the Hummingbird Peony one. And I think I already showed it to you. And sorry, you guys, but I think there's only one more I'm going to show you. So y'all could be like, finally, it's over with. Anyway, but uh, yeah. Oh, no, here's all the pieces, y'all, all of them. Look at that cotton one. I love that one, too. But I love my pooch. I like that one. I didn't show you all of them because I knew there was a lot. But I love you guys so very much, and I'm so sorry this video is only a one-and-done thing. I don't do that. You guys know, but I just really, and it took me a, a, a lot out of me doing it because I feel so terrible. I know, I'm whiny Kathy. But, um, and then, um, yeah, it just took, it took me a good bit of time to do it. But, um, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one, and hopefully it's not that long. Oh, there's some blanks, y'all. I left some blanks so you could put, like, birthdays or whatever on anything special. I love y'all from by my heart. Bye!